Welcome to Sleepy Eyes. I am your host, Varga. I take you on a journey in the dark of the night with warm tales. Take a moment to relax your body and mind with the current calmness. Breathe deeply, feel the energy inside, and let go of any tiredness. Put aside the past and focus on the peacefulness of the present moment. Recognize any tension in your body. Allow it to fade away and unwind. Discover your inner peace and simply unwind in the tranquility of now. Before going to sleep, prepare to read a story comfortably in this peaceful setting. Let the magic of words captivate you as you get lost in a tale or story. With the warmth from this peace and relaxation, your sleep will become even more serene. Close your eyes, embark on a journey with a touch of words. Let each word guide you a bit deeper toward the essence of your inner peace. Now, relax and enjoy the pleasure of getting lost in the enchanting world of the story before drifting into sleep. Moonlight Magic, A Friendship Under the Stars Chapter 1, A Moonlit Meeting The night was dark and still as Jenny lay awake in her cozy mouse bed. She peered out of her window at the shadowy treetops, swaying ever so slightly in the breeze. As she watched, distant sounds of the forest echoed through the glade, an owl's soft hoot, the scamper of paws in the undergrowth. Jenny shivered. She tried to focus on the slivers of moonlight dappling her room, but shadows danced at the corners of her vision. What creatures lurked beyond the silvery beams? Were nightmares creeping through the inky blackness? Her racing thoughts kept sleep far at bay. With a sigh, Jenny tucked her favorite acorn under one paw for courage. Maybe some fresh air will help, she thought. Sliding from her nest, she tiptoed out of the tree hole and into the moon-dappled night. The forest seemed even stranger up close, Moon shadows stretched like grasping fingers across the forest floor. Every snapped twig made Jenny jump. She crept closer to the nearest tree for safety, scanning nervously for any sign of movement. That's when she noticed a strange shape perched on a fallen log ahead. Two large googly eyes peered back at her from a body striped in shades of blue, green, and gold. Hello there, said a curious voice. What brings you out on this moonlit night, little mouse? Jenny peered at the colorful newcomer. Could this be friend or foe? She took a deep breath. I'm Jenny, and I'm afraid of the dark. Chapter 2 Counting the Stars Miguel blinked gently. There's no need to fear in moonlight, little Jenny. Look how it lights the forest just so. He stretched a foreleg towards the sky. The moon is a friend to all who walk by night. Come, sit with me a while and I'll show you. Jenny wavered for a moment before hopping up beside Miguel on the mossy log. Together they gazed at the sea of treetops glittering under the moon. What strange shapes you see up there, asked Miguel softly. Jenny peered closely. Those clouds look like two rabbits hopping, she offered. Miguel smiled. Indeed, a fine sight. And over there, what's that one? Jenny scanned the sky. It's a bird with wings outstretched, taking flight. So the game began. As Miguel pointed out each fanciful shape, Jenny added her own ideas until the night was filled with dancing dragons and grinning goblins floating across the moonlit clouds. Before long, Jenny's dread of the dark had flown away on unseen wings, replaced by the wonder of her new discoveries with Miguel. Look, a shooting star, cried Miguel suddenly. Limber neck craned skyward. Jenny gasped as a silvery streak blazed a trail above the treetops and faded into darkness. That one is called a wish star, Miguel explained. If you see one, make a wish, and it may just come true. Curious, Jenny pondered what to wish for before blowing the star a secret goodbye kiss. As the great silvery orb of the moon rose higher, 
bathing the forest in light, Jenny felt safer than she had ever felt before in the night. Whatever terrors might lurk here were no match for this new moonlit magic she had found with her friend, Miguel. Chapter 3 Shadow Play As Miguel and Jenny sat content under the moon, a strange shadow caught Jenny's eye. She tensed as it twisted itself across the forest floor, stretching this way and that like long fingers reaching out. What is that? she squeaked, shrinking closer to Miguel's side. He smiled soothingly. Fear not, little one. Let us find the maker of that shadow together. Hopping down, Miguel offered his spotted back to Jenny. She climbed on nervously and hung on tight as he prowled towards the dark shape. When they reached the edge, Miguel lifted back a branch to reveal nothing at all. You see? Just a shadow cast by this old tree, Miguel chuckled. Jenny peered around in wonder. Where the shadow had seemed so ominous before, now there was only the gentle giant standing vigil over the glade. But how does a tree make shadows move like that? She asked Miguel. He thought for a moment. The moon moves the branches ever so slightly with her breath, and our eyes playing tricks in the light make the shadows dance. Jenny gazed up at the interwoven branches overhead, swaying in the lunar glow. Could it be the shadows were trying to dance along too? She smiled at the thought. From then on, whenever a shadow shifted, she would watch and wave, friends with the darkness just as she was friends with the friendly moonlight. Before long, Miguel had continued their journey, hunting down each strange shape with Jenny riding proudly on his back. And with each mystery solved, her fear of shadows faded like the night itself into sweet dreams of adventure under the watching moon. Chapter 4 Nocturnal Neighbors As Miguel and Jenny strolled hand in hand through the glade, a loud rustling startled Jenny from her musings. What was that? She squeaked, pressing against Miguel's side. Fear not, he soothed. Let us discover the creature rustling so. Creeping towards the sound, they peered into a tangle of brambles. There, bathed in an eerie blue glow, Jenny glimpsed a family of fat hedgehogs rooting about for supper. Miguel chuckled softly at Jenny's awe. They forage under moonlight for worms and bugs, guided by their keen smell, he explained. The glowing mushrooms light their way and ward off night predators with their funny flavor. All around, more wonders revealed themselves to Jenny's eager eyes. Deer slept standing at the forest's edge, keeping safe watch over their young. Owls swooped silently after mice, and bats flitted through the treetops chasing bugs only they could see. A nightjar emerged from the brush, camouflaged by its mottled feathers to catch unwary moths. Miguel knew them all, naming each new finding for his wide-eyed friend. The forest slept and hunted by moonlight too, full of hidden activity she never knew. As twinkling dawn neared, Jenny's doubts had vanished like smoke on the wind. The night held no more fears, only friends welcoming her into their silvery world. She had discovered the magic to be found after dark, thanks to her guide Miguel and his knowing ways under the softly glowing moon. Chapter 5 A Nighttime Picnica The moon rose high as Miguel and Jenny explored the forest together. Soon Jenny's tummy rumbled, and Miguel laughed his tinkling laugh. It seems the night air has woken an appetite in you, little friend. Come, I know just the place for a moonlit picnic. Miguel led Jenny to a moonbeam-dappled glade beside a winding stream where blue-black berries glittered on slender vines. These night fruits are extra sweet when ripened by the moon. Help yourself, as he popped a berry into his mouth. Jenny gasped at the treat's tart sweet taste as juices dyed her whiskers purple. Soon both friends' mouths were stained blue from feasting. When full, they reclined in the soft grass, watching cloud shapes drift by the giant silvery orb. It is much less scary in the dark when you have a friend, said Jenny thoughtfully. 
Miguel smiled. Indeed, courage grows even in the timidest heart when another is by your side, and though the night holds mysteries, its secrets are best shared. As if in response, a spotted fawn emerged from the trees to drink from the stream. It stared at the newcomers with liquid eyes, unafraid under the moon's gentle glow. Jenny reached out a paw, and the fawn nuzzled her hand curiously before trotting back into the night. Full and content, Miguel and Jenny lay dreaming under the watching moon, and Jenny knew that wherever the moonlight touched was a place she now called home, for as long as Miguel walked by her side. The dark now held no terrors, but only promise of friends and adventures yet to come. Chapter 6 Farewell to Fear All too soon, Miguel saw the eastern sky lightening, and new dawn was near. Jenny, the new day is waking, he said softly. It is time for you to return safely home. Reluctantly, Jenny stood, and Miguel guided her paw in his as they walked through the thinning shadows. Too soon their moonlit escapades must end, but her heart was light knowing the forest's secrets were now hers to enjoy each night. All too soon they arrived at the great oak where Jenny made her home. Miguel turned to his little friend and smiled. You have learned to see the beauty in darkness as I see it, dear Jenny. Now when shadows fall, think of the wonder that night can bring. Jenny leaned up to nuzzle Miguel's scaly cheek. Thank you for being my friend and showing me hidden places in the dreaming forest, she whispered. You have banished all my childish fears of the night away. Miguel blinked fondly. Farewell, small friend. May the moon bless your sleep, and when next she rises full and bright, I shall be here waiting to continue our adventures beneath her silvery glow. Heart full to bursting, Jenny watched Miguel blend into the fading forest. She scampered up into her hollow, just as golden sunlight crested the treetops, bathing her cozy room in dawn's warm glow. Curling into her nest, Jenny sighed happily and drifted to sleep knowing the moon would watch over her sweet, moonlit dreams of the forest's magic and of her very best friend, Miguel.